Hi, I'm Chris Chappell. Today, you have a rare opportunity to stand up to the CCP and strike a win for freedom. These are the Solomon Islands. The Chinese Communist Party bought off its corrupt Prime Minister Manasseh Sogavari. In exchange for a lot of money, Prime Minister Sogavari broke ties with Taiwan, and then signed a secret security pact with China. The deal was so shocking because it allows the Chinese military to come into Solomon's for maintaining social order and protecting Chinese personnel and major projects. It even opens the possibility of a PLA base in the Solomon Islands, home of a very important World War II battle. That would put the Chinese military off the coast of Australia in the case of a battle over Taiwan. But all along, there was one man who got in China's and Sogavari's way. Daniel Soidani, Premier of Solomon Islands, most populous island, Malaita province. Soidani called out the CCP and Sogavari's corruption. He stood up for democracy, freedom, and Taiwan. He refused to let the CCP infiltrate his province, and even put a moratorium on CCP-linked businesses operating in the province. That made him the CCP's public enemy number one in Solomon's. China tried to bribe him. It didn't work. Then. China-connected officials in the Solomon Islands tried to deny him life-saving medical treatment. That didn't work either. Then, they used Chinese money to bribe people to strip him of the premiership in a motion of no confidence. After three tries, it finally worked. Then, they stripped him of his duly elected seat in the provincial assembly for ongoing failure to recognize the One China policy. Oh, and Sogavari also used a Chinese slush fund to pay off 39 of the 50 members of parliament so he could amend the constitution and postpone the election that were due to be held this year. Sound familiar? Limiting access to medical care for people who disagree with the government, bribing officials, bullying the opposition, setting up the elements of a police state, postponing democracy, and dismissing people who disagree with you from elected positions? Solomon Islands is being turned into the next Hong Kong. Right now, Suedani is visiting the U.S., and when he returns home, he'll probably be arrested, because the Solomon Islands government has now been almost completely infiltrated by the CCP. And that's where you come in. We started a GoFundMe campaign to cover Suedani's expenses when he comes to Washington, D.C. In D.C., he'll describe how the Chinese Communist Party is corrupting the Pacific Island nations, and how that not only destroys freedom and democracy, but could also threaten America's ability to defend Taiwan. America was founded on the ideals of freedom and democracy, and people like Daniel Suidani are on the front lines of that battle today. On the other side is the Chinese Communist Party, gradually spreading its authoritarian influence and crushing anyone who stands in the way. I say, it's time we draw a line in the sand. Help us fund Suedani's trip to D.C. It may seem like a small thing, but it's part of a much bigger battle that we can't afford to lose. The link to the GoFundMe campaign is below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell, and thank you for joining me in the fight.